Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Garibaldi and today I'm going to read for you Jamaica's Blue Marker. I'm going to share my screen so that you can see the book as I read it aloud. Jamaica's Blue Marker, written by Juanita Havill, illustrations by Ian Sidley O'Brien. Jamaica's Blue Marker. Jamaica closed her eyes and thought about her picture. Mrs. Worth always said to think first, then draw. Jamaica opened her eyes and drew a tree on her big sheet of paper. Then she drew leaves falling off of the tree and colored them yellow. Jamaica, Mrs. Worth said, could you please share your markers with Russell? He doesn't have any. Hmm. He never has anything he needs, Jamaica thought. But she said, okay, even though she didn't want to share her markers with him. Russell brought his paper to Jamaica's table. He sat down beside her and grabbed her blue marker. Jamaica picked up her brown and orange markers to finish her picture. She didn't pay attention to Russell. After a while, she peeked at his paper. Russell was making squiggly circles all over his page. We're supposed to draw a fall picture, Russell, Jamaica said. Who says? Mrs. Worth, don't you ever listen? I don't have to. Russell reached out with his blue marker and made a streak across Jamaica's picture. <gasps> Russell, stop, Jamaica shouted but Russell scribbled all over Jamaica's yellow-leafed tree. Mrs. Worth, Jamaica cried. Russell wrecked my picture. Mrs. Worth hurried over to their table. Russell, did you do this? She held up Jamaica's picture. Mrs. Worth couldn't get Russell to say I'm sorry. He had to go sit alone and work on spelling until art was over. Look what Russell did, Jamaica showed her father and brother when she got home. I tried, but I couldn't make another one as good as this. When she looked at the ugly blue squiggles, she had to swallow hard not to cry. Russell is a mean brat. Did you tell Mrs. Worth what happened? Her father asked. Jamaica nodded. Russell can't use my markers again. I shared with him because he didn't have any. He never has what he's supposed to have, but that's no reason to be mean. No, her father said. Russell shouldn't have messed up your picture. The next time they had art, Jamaica was glad Russell didn't sit at her table. Then he couldn't bother her, and she didn't have to share her markers with him either. But at recess, Russell threw sand at her and chased two second grade girls, so he had to go to the office. Before he came back, Mrs. Worth said, I would like to tell you something. Can you keep a secret? Yes, Jamaica shouted with her classmates. We're going to have a going away party for Russell on Friday. His father has a new job in another town. They will be moving over the weekend. I thought that you might like to make cards to say goodbye. Then Russell will have something to remember us by. Mrs. Worth passed out paper. Then she showed everyone how to fold the paper into a card. Jamaica didn't want to make a card for Russell. She was glad he was moving. Then he wouldn't bother her anymore. She put the paper in her desk. At supper, Jamaica said, I like living here. I like my house and my room and the tree in the front yard. I like my school too. I'm glad you do, her mother said. I wouldn't like to move. Who said anything about moving? Aussie asked. Russell is moving, Jamaica said. Lucky you. He won't mess up your pictures anymore, Ozzy said. I wonder.
wonder how Russell feels about moving, Dad said. He might be upset. Has he talked about it? Russell doesn't say anything. He just gets in trouble, Jamaica said. Russell didn't come to the classroom on Friday morning. He was with his mother in the office. Jamaica looked at his empty desk. Next week, Russell would be gone. He wouldn't be at his desk ever again. She decided to make a card for Russell. He got out, I'm sorry, she got out the blank card and her markers too. Oops, sorry friend. But just then, Mrs. Worth asked, who are my helpers this week? Jamaica raised her hand. Jamaica, could you collect the cards and put them in Russell's desk? Brianna and Thomas, I would like for you to clear the activity table for the plates and cups. Jamaica went from desk to desk to pick up the cards. She put the whole stack in Russell's desk. As she closed his desk, Russell came in with his mother. The party started. They played games for a while and ate cake. Russell opened his desk and took out all of the cards. Look, Mom, everyone made a card for me. Not everyone, Jamaica thought. She took the blue marker out of her marker bag and then she ran up to Russell. This is for you, Russell. She handed him the marker. You can use it at your new school. But you might need it, he said. You like to draw. You draw the best pictures in class. What if you have to color the sky? Someone will share with me. Thanks, he said. You're lucky. You get to stay here. Now Jamaica knew how Russell felt about moving. I wish you didn't have to move, she said. When Jamaica waved goodbye to Russell, she noticed that his mother was carrying his goodbye cards. Russell held up the blue marker and waved, waved it at her as if he'd won a prize. Goodbye, Russell. I'll miss you, Jamaica said, and she meant it. <laughs> and I love that. That's the little picture of her markers and the blue markers missing. And here are some other books in the popular Jamaica series. And I know in kindergarten, uh, a lot of us read Jamaica's Find and also Jamaica Tag Along. And I will say Jamaica's Blue Marker is one of my favorite books because some of us, we have to move. We don't always stay. And also some of us have friends that have to move. I know last year in our class, um, we had a friend that moved and we wrote him cards and we sent him off um, to his new home to remember us with the cards and everything. And so I hope you enjoyed this story and I hope that you guys will then now think about the main events in this story, okay? Have a great day. Goodbye.